You wouldn't want to cross these ruthless rulers. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cruelest British monarchs. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most heartless, cold-blooded, and merciless kings and queens to have ever reigned in Britain. Number 10, James II of Scotland, 1437 to 1460. If the Red Wedding still haunts you, look away now. That fictional event was actually inspired by the Black Dinner, wherein young James II's aides decided to rid Clan Douglas of their heirs, a 16-year-old William Douglas, the 6th Earl of Douglas, and his 12-year-old brother David, via mock trial and real beheading. Although only 10 and likely not involved in the planning, James would later again clash with the powerful clan, and when things didn't go to plan, he decided to end the rivalry once and for all by actively taking part in the murder of William Douglas, the 8th Earl. Number 9, Henry II, 1154 to 1189. While Henry II redesigned the basis of English common law, history remembers him less favorably as the man who killed Archbishop Thomas Becket. At first, the two were friends, but when Becket sided with the church over the king, he thought it's safer to flee Henry's wrath and live in self-imposed exile in France. Upon his return, the king proclaimed, will no one rid me of this turbulent priest? Unfortunately, some loyal knights took his angry words literally and went to Canterbury Cathedral and hacked the Archbishop to death. Number 8, Ethelred II, 1978 to 1013, 1014 to 16. While most 12-year-olds might try to keep their families from invading their personal space, this 12-year-old was battling to keep the Danes from invading his country. After years of invasions, the king was warned that Danes in England would plot against him, leading the king to respond with a massacre of all Danes in the country, the St. Bryce's Day Massacre of 1002. King Swain of Denmark's sister and her husband were believed to be among the fatalities, which led Swain to invade and Ethelred to flee. Clearly, he wasn't called Ethelred the Unready for nothing. Number 7, Richard II, 1377 to 1399. When Richard II introduced a new tax poll, he sparked the first ever mass peasant revolt. The king wasn't thrilled about having his people rise up, so he met with their leader, Wat Tyler, who was killed by the Lord Mayor soon after. He also had the other revolt leaders executed and mounted their heads on pikes at London Bridge. After this humiliating blow, the incensed king became an unpredictable tyrant and ensured no one would successfully oppose him by having anyone who attempted to resist him, including the Lord's Appellant, exiled or executed. Number 6, Edward I, 1272 to 1307. Anyone named Hammer of the Scots probably wasn't a beacon of joy. Not content with being ruler of England, Edward kept his eye on Scotland and Wales too, and funded his ambitions too, by introducing the Statute of Jewry, which imposed a severe tax on England's Jewish population and led to the execution of some 300 Jewish heads of household before he decided to exile them altogether while keeping their money and property for himself. He also wouldn't want to get on his bad side as he was said to punish his enemies by locking their relatives in cages which would hang in the castle towers. Number 5, Elizabeth I, 1558 to 1603. This queen used torture as a means of interrogation and punishment more than any other monarch ever. In fact, under Elizabeth I's rule, a beheading would be considered the least brutal method of execution. Like her father, the infamous Henry VIII, she was known for her short temper and affinity for violence, especially against those in her household. At one point, she was even a suspect in the murder of Amy Robsart, who was found dead at the foot of the stairs at Cunmore Palace, while rumors of the Queen's affair with Robsart's husband, Robert, were rife. Number 4, William the Conqueror, 1066 to 1087. The first Norman king of England, William is notable for abolishing the death penalty, but that hardly makes him a stand-up guy. 
In fact, many during his reign would probably choose death over his preferred eye gouging, hand and feet off chopping, or life imprisonments. Not only did the Battle of Hastings result in the death of some 10,000 people, thousands more died when he destroyed their land and caused famine. He wasn't much nicer to people he supposedly liked either, such as when Matilda of Flanders refused to marry him and he allegedly dragged her around by her hair until she changed her mind. Number 3. Mary I, 1553 to 1558. History and the Protestants she persecuted dubbed Mary I Bloody Mary, and it's a name she more than earned. Her short reign was marked by violence, such as her opening gambits of having Lady Jane Grey executed in order to get her rightful place on the throne. A fiercely proud Catholic, Mary was determined to reverse her father's reformation, starting with imprisoning or exiling leading Protestant clergymen. Many Protestants fled the country to avoid the brutal punishments dished out to anyone she deemed a heretic, and it was said that about 280 people were burned at the stake during her reign. Number 2. Henry VIII, 1509-1547 This king's legacy is often summed up in six words, one for each of his wives. When he wanted to give his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, the boot, Henry abandoned the Catholic Church, created the Church of England, and persecuted anyone who opposed him to pull it off. He also had two wives executed, and essentially tried to dispose of any wife who didn't produce a son which, medically speaking, would actually be his fault. In general, Henry was known as a suspicious, paranoid, dangerous, and tyrannical traits that were potentially caused by a jousting accident that turned him from a jock to a jerk. Number 1. King John, 1199-1216 John was so awful that he was forced to sign a document that would restrain his rulings. And what didn't he do? He tried to steal the throne from his brother, forced himself upon women, and killed his own nephew. He would starve prisoners to death, raise taxes to cover the inheritance he wasted, imprisoned and tortured the Jewish for money, and stole land from the church. And so, yes, John was so incompetent and tyrannical that the Magna Carta was introduced to stop him from punishing others just to make up for his shortcomings as a king. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.